Hi, everyone, and welcome to another WinWire series. Today, we're going to be talking about disaster recovery as a service. My name is Therese McGovern. I'm your national partner manager here at RapidScale, and I'm joined by Tyler Wenling, who is our CSC channel manager out of Colorado. Tyler, how are you doing today? Doing great, Therese. How are you? Great. So who are we going to be talking about today? Tell us a little bit about your customer and your business, their business. Yeah, so this is a, I, I don't want to say regional medical, but this is a, a statewide medical organization um, that that's fairly large. Great. So a healthcare vertical win, which is a very big vertical here at Rapid Scale. And tell me a little bit about their IT team. Was it a large uh, IT, IT team? Yeah, the IT team is pretty big. Uh, so the organization as it stands today, uh, we're we're tied in all the way up to the CIO, all the way down to the tier one help desk guys. Uh, we've interacted with over 25 people in, in the IT department. Wow. You know, it's so interesting to hear you say that, Tyler, because a lot of times when we talk about uh, good fits for rapid scale, we talk about lean IT. So it's okay if they don't just have one or two people running their technology business, we can have a little bit more of a robust IT team. So that's great to know. Tell us a little bit about the business challenges they were facing. So uh, healthcare vertical, this was a compliance play for them. They were looking at uh, a new disaster recovery service. So the underlying kind of driver of the conversation, uh, there's a solution called Nutanix out there, which does uh, more of bundling infrastructure and storage for our clientele. This customer is moving off from Nutanix to a Cisco based platform, which we use at rapid scale uh, for new production. Those all gonna be done in house. Uh, they knew when they were making this change, they were going to have to change their DR and backup strategy as well. So the opportunity was right to have a conversation. We had a very similar architecture as a business to the client in this case. Very nice. And so what services did RapidScale provide? Was it just disaster recovery as a service or are there services that we're going to grow and have on the roadmap? So initially it is truly just disaster recovery as a service. So. Um, we at rapid scale, like a lot of our uh, peers in the industry, we use Zerto as the underlying uh, facilitator for replication. Uh, but a big driver in this environment was a Citrix environment. So a VDI type of environment that made us a little bit different in this case. So we knew based on their roadmap, it wasn't just disaster recovery. That was the, the near term solution, but we were gonna be expanding into some Citrix, Citrix work for the client uh, and helping their bench, though deep, uh, lacked a little bit of expertise in it. And what was the MRR on this opportunity? So the disaster recovery uh, initially started at seventeen-ish thousand dollars a month. Um, has since expanded another five thousand on top of that. And then um, for future state, uh, a little bit, a handful of Citrix seats is going to be about eight thousand dollars a month. That's great. And how closely did you work with the partner on this opportunity? So the partner in this opportunity actually made an introduction, joined calls, listened, was an advisor in the background, didn't didn't participate per se in the calls, but was constantly listening to the client and then giving us feedback on some coaching, which is always very nice. That's wonderful. So what I hear on this win and the takeaways I hear, the partner had a great relationship with the end user, but let rapid scale drive. So this was great. If you want to hear about more about this win or other wins, please reach out to us. Happy to help. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you.